<laughs> I can't wait for our curling game. Oh, me neither. I have never curled before. How do we play? You slide stones over the ice. And you have to get them as close to the target as you can. <sighs> I hope the weather will be okay for playing outdoors. Let's look at the barometer. It forecasts the weather. Uh-oh! That little bear has an umbrella. <gasps> and a raincoat! Rainy day bear! Rainy day bear! Does that mean it's going to rain, Big Bear? Hmm, well, that's what the barometer says, Holly. Don't worry, we can still have our curling game. Let's go put on our raincoats and meet back here. Oh, now I have to dress up as Rainy Day Archie. <laughs> Big Bear, are you ready? Ready! Oh, the sun's coming out! Yay! <sighs> I'm boiling in this raincoat. Me too. I think we'll have to get changed again. But there are still big clouds up there. How do we know what the weather will do next? Hmm, I don't think the barometer will be much help. I think Oakley knows how to forecast the weather. Let's ask him. Can you really tell what the weather's going to do, Oakley? <laughs> I can. Ever since I was small, my eyebrows have drooped when it's going to be wet. And they rise again when fine weather is coming. So? What are your eyebrows doing now? They're going up. I can remember. Are these rainy day eyebrows or sunny day eyebrows? Up means fine weather. Isn't that right, Oakley? <laughs> yes, good weather is on its way. I can feel the tingling in my leaves. with you, Oakley. Oh, yes. <laughs> you won't be needing those today. Thanks, Oakley. See you later. It's raining. What? Oakley, your eyebrows got it wrong. Oh, well, they must have dropped down again while you were uh, taking off your raincoats. Better put them back on again. I wish there was a better way of knowing what the weather will do. There is. Follow me. You brought us here just to look at a pine cone. Pine cones can forecast the weather. If the cone is open, it's going to be dry. Oh, but this one's closed. So, the rain is here to stay. <gasps> I've got the perfect thing to keep us dry. I'll meet you at the showground. Sure, this doesn't look silly, Rosie. <laughs> we'll all look the same, Raggles. You really expect me to wear this? Come on, amigo. Let me under your umbrella. At last, we can start our curling game. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie. <sighs> the weather keeps changing. I wish we knew what it was going to do so we could get on with our game. Ah, we have to be prepared for whatever nature brings. You're right. Thanks, Safi. Well, I need to borrow some things from your workshop. I'm going to make a weather station so we know what the weather's <gasps> going to be like. How long is this going to take, Rosie? Not long. I'll catch you up at the showground. Hmm. Hola! Hi, Rosie! Oh, hi! Hi, everyone! Who's winning? Ooh, um, uh, let's see. Uh, two plus three plus... Ooh, ooh. Oh, 
Oh, it's no good. We forgot to keep score. We were too busy watching Teal. Never mind. I know a way we can sort this out. Look, you can slide these up whenever someone scores a point. Oh, time to test it out. Oh. Hooray! <laughs> 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 nice weather for dogs. <laughs> 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 Tingling in my leaves. Ooh, there's a storm coming. Um, a storm? Oh. With lots of thunder and lightning. Of course. Yay! Oh, I wish I could shelter you from the storm. I'll be fine. Storms freshen the air and give me plenty of water to drink. Yes, but um, the clouds sound very angry when there's thunder. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Kaboom! Oh. They aren't angry. The thunder's just a big noise that's made when lightning heats up the air. You shouldn't stay near trees in a storm, though, Holly. It's safer inside. That's right. Much better to watch the storm from indoors, all cosy and dry. Holly, we haven't finished playing. No time to play today, Rosie. Come over to our house, Raggles. Don't worry about the storm. Ow! Huh? I'm not worried. That's right. We'll be fine if we all stick together. I love storms, especially thunder when it goes boom. <laughs> yeah, but the best bit is when it goes crack kaboom. We'll meet you there. I've got sandwiches, Raggles, and cake. Cake? What are we waiting for? Shelter? But I've got my den. Come with us. You might get afraid. But, Holly, I'm not afraid. Juice and sandwiches, Big Bear. Ooh, honey sandwiches. Double-decker honey sandwiches. Safi? Oh, I've weathered many storms, Holly. I've just felt a drop of rain. Ah! Holly, sometimes the things we are most afraid of come from within us. Does everyone have enough juice? <laughs> yes, thank you so much. So very, very much. Do be careful, Teal. It wouldn't be good manners to leave crumbs. Yay! I just saw some wicked lightning! Ooh. Oh dear. Oh, one elephant, two elephant, three elephant, four elephant, five elephant, six elephant, seven elephant, what eight doing? elephant, nine elephant, ten elephant. I count the seconds between the lightning and the thunder. If I count a smaller number next time, it means the storm's moving closer. Good one. One elephant, two elephant, three elephant, four elephant. Did you see that, five Holly? Elephant, Holly. Six elephant. I'm so terribly sorry you've made a very, very jammy mess, Bluebird. <laughs> Holly? Holly, quick, you're missing the storm. Are you the one who's scared of storms? Yes. Oh, Holly, you'll be safe indoors. There's nothing to be scared of. But the noise is scary, Rosie. I wish it would stop. It will in a minute. Maybe it'll be less scary if you come and watch. 
14 elephant, 15 elephant, 16 elephant, 17 elephant, 18 elephant, ooh, 19. I only counted to 10 between the lightning and the thunder last time. Well, what does that mean? The storm's moving away. Uh, I think it's saying goodbye. Look, the sun's coming out again. <gasps> Oakley, I must see how he is. Oh, was it very scary out here all alone in the storm? Not at all. I love storms. <laughs> oh, but if only they came more often. The wind in my leaves, the cool rain running down my bark. Poor Oakley. I wish I could cheer you up. Well, maybe you can do just that. Come with me, Holly. Are we ready? Lightning. Lightning. Check. And rain. Yep, we have rain. Good. Rumbly thunder and clashing thunder. Hop to rumbly thunder. Great. Um, clashing thunder. <laughs> <sighs> you both have superb manners. Now, can we please have clashing thunder for Oakley? Hmm. You first, Teal. No, after you, Bluebird. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Let Oakley's special storm begin! This is what I call a storm. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Rosie, what's wrong, Holly? Nothing. I'm not scared of storms anymore. Oh. Thank you, oh. Oakley. <laughs> <laughs> Phew! It's such a hot day today. Everyone's going to be very happy that we're out delivering Busbury aid. a scorcher today. Well, luckily for you, Rosie and Will's Bosbury Aid delivery is here. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> That's better. We'll just take your empties and then on to our next deliveries. I think we should split up now. I'll go to the Beaver Dam, then to Bluebird. And I'll do the rest. First one to finish is the winner. Thank you! you. Oh, I'm still hot. Oh, that's a nice breeze. Yes, but it's a bit tiring. What we need is a proper fan. And I know just who can help us to build it. <laughs> Hi, Matt! Hi, Nat! I was just saying to Teal the other day about how amazing you are at building things. There might be something you could build for us. We can build anything, right, Nat? Indeed we can, Matt. You tell us what you want built, and we will build it for you. Yes! Yes! Let's try going back. Oh, we'll just have to get out and push. Help! Help! What's that? A message in a bottle. Somebody waving. And Oakley's Hill? I wonder who it's from. Hmm. I'll go to Oakley's Hill when I finish my deliveries and see. Oh, 
thanks, Rosie. This is thirsty work. <laughs> yes, it is. See you later, Big Bear. Bye. Bye. Now for a refreshing drink of Bosbury Aid. Hmm. Hey, a message? That's strange. I suppose it must be from Rosie. Hmm. Looks like she wants me to meet her at Oakley's Hill. Hmm. Oh well, I'll go when I finish my jobs here. Oh, that reminds me. Must fill up this box of apples for Reggles. bottles for your sculpture. It's looking great. <laughs> Thank you. See you later. Bye. Oh, that's strange. It must be from Rosie. Wanting to meet me later at Oakley's Hill? Oops. I wonder why. Oh. <sighs> at least it's a bit cooler up here in the shade, Oakley. Oh, uh, what? What's this? Ooh, looks like someone wants to meet here. Well, it's not from me. So who sent it? I didn't. Nor me. So, who sent the note then? I thought you did. Me too. But I thought you did. So nobody here sent the note? No, no not me. me. I didn't. How strange. And where's Will? He should have finished his deliveries by now. Well, he hasn't. I never got my bottle of Bosbury Aid. And I'm so hot and thirsty. <coughs> hmm. Let me have a look at that note again. It's a bit muddy. Let me just... Ah! <gasps> it's the ghost beater. And it's stuck. This must be from Will. Oh, <gasps> look! The arrow points to the beaver dam, not to Oakley's Hill. Quick! We've got to help! Yes, the message was from me. I shouted for help, but nobody was around, so I threw the bottle into the stream. It was the only way I could think of to get help. Well, help has now arrived. Come on, everyone! Line up and push! <laughs> Having fun in the mud? We're trying to help Will. He's stuck. Stuck in the mud? <laughs> we never get stuck, do we? What you need is to put lots of twigs and reeds under the wheels to help you grip. Now, who do we know with lots of spare twigs and reeds? Oh! That ought to do the trick. Give it a go now. I'm going 
to say it again. It's such a windy day, Rosie. I know. I wonder how everyone else is getting on. back together. Whatever we do, it isn't strong enough. What is it, Big Bear? Oh, I'm afraid I've got some sad news, everyone. Uh, oh no, the plum tree. Don't be too sad, Rosie, for every end is a new beginning. Understand, and it's given me an idea. So you see, although it's sad that the plum tree has been blown over, perhaps there's a way that we can each take something from it and use it for something good. What do you mean? I just don't see how that's going to work. <gasps> oh, these leaves! They're so soft! Oh! <gasps> Holly, quick, help me! <laughs> well, I could still use this last crop of plums to make another cake. And these twigs? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? That they're exactly what we need. To mend the dam! I was thinking what you were thinking. Hmm. And maybe... Can you hold this, please, Raggles? Yes! The trunk is just the right length to mend the fence with. The Mega Menders are <laughs> back in business. Thank you. 
part of the tree. We did. The end was actually lots of new beginnings. So many good things have come from something that seemed so sad at first. Especially this cake. Oh, it's yummy. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, what a perfect day for picking some fruit from the orchard. Uh-oh, maybe not so perfect. Ooh, I'd better get moving. if you hadn't turned up. Actually, now I've helped you, could you help me? Hmm. What kind of help? I want to catch a cloud. Hmm. Oh, of course you do. So I thought as you can fly, you'd make the perfect cloud catcher. Well, I suppose perfect is one word often used to describe me. <laughs> I shall use the power of my magic and the flap of my feathers to get you your cloud raggles. <laughs> Good luck, Bluebird! Ahem. I shall now perform a cloud catching spell. Cumulus Nimble Binky Tinkle! <laughs> hmm, playing hard to get, are we? Come on, Cloudy. Raggles wants to see you. Huh? Ooh. <laughs> Down you go, Cloudy. Whoa, whoa. Hello. <laughs> what is she doing? Hmm. What is Bluebird doing? Uh, nearly there, Raggles. <laughs> oh, look out. Oh. <gasps> Do you, you mind? mind? <laughs> oh, Tio, you stopped me catching that cloud. Oh, oh, well, you caught me instead. Anyone want to come and fly my kite? Um, no thanks, Will. My barometer tells me that it's going to rain, so I need to get fruit picking. Hmm. Ah! What about you, Raggles? Oh, count me in. Are you sure this is a good idea, Raggles? It is if you want to help me catch a cloud. By covering my kite in glue? Yes. Now all we need is for you to race off on your ghost beater as fast as you can. Then let the kite do the rest. Ready, set, go! That's it! a cloud! How are we doing now, Raggles? Um, not quite as well as we were. Oh, Raggles! I can see how you got your beak stuck on this one. It's huge! Ooh. What's that? I think you should come down now, little acorns. I've got a feeling in my roots it's going to rain. Oh, great! At least someone's happy. Raggles! Raggles! I know how you can catch a cloud. How? Take cover in my leaves, acorns. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining! Yes, it's raining, Raggles. So? That cloud is just teeny tiny drops of water 
so light they can float high up in the sky. But sometimes they get too heavy and fall down as rain. Catch rain and you're catching a cloud. So in here is a cloud. My cloud! Yes! Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> yes! Yes, it is! Thanks for not giving up, Rosie. We're catching a cloud! <laughs> ahem, ahem, ahem. What is it, Bluebird? Has anyone seen Will? I think this belongs to him. Will! 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 That's Will! 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 My kite! Ugh, what's that? Sorry, my fault again. Um, but at least I caught a cloud. Look! Regals, it's only water. Thank, Thank you! Just look at that beautiful rainbow, Rosie. You're not going to ask me to catch a rainbow now, are you? <laughs> Don't be silly. That would be impossible. But I wouldn't mind a piece of the moon. It's made of cheese, you know. <laughs> a cheese sandwich might have to do. We still haven't finished our picnic, remember? Now you're talking. <laughs> Your metal detector's great, Raggles. Yes, and I just know we're going to find treasure very deep underground. Oh, treasure! Quick, dig it up! <sighs> Ooh, I can't. It's so cold, the ground is frozen solid. But how will we get the treasure? Don't worry, I've got an idea. Wow! That looks amazing! Yep, and it will easily dig through frozen soil. I wonder what the treasure will be. Maybe a crown, or a gold bar, or a shield covered with jewels, or... A rusty spoon. Or a rusty spoon! Oh. Never mind. I'm hungry. Let's have something to eat. Food go missing today, too. It's been very strange. Hmm, I've got an idea. I'll just put this box of yummy food down here and leave it while we all go away. been a bad winter for us, too. Not much food to go around. Then we'll all help you to find more food, won't we? Yes. I know which berries you can and can't eat. 
<laughs> Let's try this way. So far, we've got some rusty forks and spoons and a button. <gasps> oh, I wonder what this treasure will be. A diamond ring, a ruby necklace. Oh, it's more rubbish, isn't it? I think it's time to give up. I think you're right. Hey, what's inside it? <gasps> a, a treasure, treasure map! map. <laughs> Look, X marks the spot. And that dotted line must be the way to the treasure. But what do these other symbols mean? A rocket blasting off, three balloons in a giant bowl, scoops of ice cream with an enormous wafer sticking out of them. That looks like a rocket blasting off. Here's a rocket. Oh, it's just a tree. Hmm. But look, three balloons in a giant bowl. Here are the three balloons in a giant... Just some bushes. But look! Scoops of ice cream with an enormous wafer sticking out of them! Mm. Oh, hi, Will! Hi, Raggles! What are you doing? We were doing a treasure hunt, but oh, this map is useless. That looks like the map I made of where I buried my nuts. It doesn't make any sense. That's because you've got it upside down. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so what we thought was a rocket... ...was the fountain. <laughs> of course. And the balloons in the giant ball? The pod swing. <laughs> oh, yes. And the ice cream scoops and wafer? Ugly! Which means my nuts are buried here. Oh no! The ground is frozen solid. No problem. Well, we'll have plenty of food this winter, thanks to you all. But where should we keep it all if the ground is too hard to bury it? I know. Perfect. And we finally managed to cook our food. Tuck in, everybody. Hooray! Ice hockey. Oh, crisp and cold. <laughs> and Big Bear is making hot chocolate and pumpkin cake at his house after the match this afternoon. Mmm. Hello, Holly. Are you coming to watch the ice hockey game at the showground? Mm-hmm. And I've made you a present. A present? Ooh, I love presents. Thanks, Holly. Ta-da! They're to keep you warm. Um, what are they exactly, Holly? Ear socks. I knitted them all by myself. Do you like them? They're, uh, lovely and bright, aren't they, Raggles? Holly made them especially for you. Oh, um, thanks, Holly. I've never been given anything like them before. Hooray! I've been knitting things for everyone. If I hurry, 
I can finish them all in time for the ice hockey game later. Ready for the ice hockey game, Big Bear? Not quite, Will. I've got to finish bringing my pumpkins indoors before the cold weather ruins them. You've certainly grown a lot this year. They will last me all winter if they are protected from the cold. I've already filled the potting shed, so I'm taking the others into my den. Whoa! It's a bit full in here, Big Bear. Knock, knock. Hello. As official ice hockey referee, I thought I'd come and see how the hot chocolate and pumpkin cake preparations are going. I got everything ready this morning, Bluebird. Mmm, lovely cake, Big Bear. If anyone can reach it. Bluebird's got a point, Big Bear. How is everyone going to fit in here after the ice hockey game? Oh, I hadn't thought of that. It's because they're all spread out. You need to stack them up properly. Ah! What did I tell you? Room for everyone now? Oh, this has taken ages. Come on, Rosie and Raggles will wonder where we've got to. <laughs> Sorry we're late. Big Bear has filled his house with pumpkins for the winter. We had to tidy them up. Ready to play? You bet. <laughs> what have you got on your ears, Raggles? They're ear socks. Holly knitted them for me. <laughs> Rather you than me, Raggles. <laughs> Positions, everyone! I've made everyone a present. Presents? Oh, I like presents. Here you are, Big Bear. And this is for you, Rosie. Thank you, Holly. <laughs> well, <laughs> I've made you these. Uh, me? Uh-oh. But they're huge. Holly has worked really hard to knit us these things, Will. Oh, th uh, they're um, a huge help, Holly. I'm so glad you all like my knitting. Now you're all ready to play. Okay, Rosie. Raggles is right. I haven't made very useful things after all. I'm sorry I'm not wearing them, Holly. You see, trees don't really need branch warmers. I didn't mean to upset you, Holly. I'll wear my ear socks every day from now on. It's all right, Raggles. They weren't very good as ear socks, were they? Um, no. <laughs> 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 you should have seen Will trying to hold a hockey stick with his mittens. <laughs> At least I found a use for my knitting. It's made everyone laugh. <laughs> we did look funny. Holly, we all wanted to say thank you for trying to keep us warm. Will you come to Big Bear's den with us? He's making you a special hot chocolate. Oh, yum! Ready. Pumpkin hammocks. The 
Perfect way to store all your pumpkins, Big Bear. More hammocks, Holly. <laughs> I don't think I can knit that fast. <laughs> then maybe we should all help. 